So, full time. Arsenal 2. No, no, what? Wolves 2. Arsenal 1. I have no idea what to start off with. We've lost the game. We we went down to nine men. Let's just get let's just get right into it. So, yeah, it is a defeat at the Molyneux, and where do I start? Where do I start? Let's start off with talking about the game itself. Yes, we've lost the game. That first half was superb from us. Like, we were dominant. We saw all over them, and we should have took, we should have been at least 3 3 0 three, three up going into half time. First minute, Sacco scores. Gold, gold disallowed. Laxey was a little bit offside, and uh, yeah, we could have gone one nil up if there's no VAR. You know, we was dominating. We had really good chances. You know, party look class, putting balls over the top. Saka was, you know, Pepe. You know, so good. Then we get the goal. Pepe, what's a goal? Yeah, what's a goal? This this guy's class. Yeah, Pepe. You know, this what this what happens when you're playing regularly, Mikel. Playing regularly, he will score goals. And he does that. We got one nil up. Half times approaching. I'm thinking, yeah, this is awesome. One nil up. I'm buzzing. Let's go in the second half and absolutely smash these. Now we get them three points and move up to sixth. Um, then what happens? Stroke of half time. Literally the stroke of half time. That of the wheeze decides to give give away a penalty in the box and they score. Yeah, and it's a red card as well. So you know, even on the stroke of half time, even when you give away a penalty on the stroke of half time, it's worse. But when it's a red card and you go down down to ten men, it's mad. Now, was it a red card? Let, let me know down below. Personally, I don't even know. I, I, I just I, 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 I was like, oh my god, what are you doing, Louise? Just come on, mate. Um, now I've, I've heard something about if it was intentional, you would have gone. It would have been been a yellow if you actually went for the ball. I find that baffling. I don't even know. We, let's move on to the second half. Second half kick slots. Remember, it is only 1-1. So, you know, it's it's alright. But I knew Wolves will definitely come on. Gian Martino, fair play. Fair play. You, listen, I, I hold my hands up. Fair play to Gian Martino. That was just a quality goal. And that's what, we, that's, that's what he does best. He gets the ball and he can have them shots out from out that range. And it's like mad. Mika Anteta. Listen, I'm Anteta out. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not blaming him for this defeat. Yeah, I'm, I'm still on Teta route, still out of his depth. The the only thing I'll criticise him today is his substitutions. Lacazette, why are you taking him off? You're bringing on Gabriel. Okay, you bring on Gabriel, but you at least take off Smith Rowe. Keep our only player up front who can actually hold up the ball to create something. Yeah, instead of, you know, I know Smith Rowe has security, but you should be thinking, take Smith Rowe off, then bring on Gabriel. Leave Lacazette there because he can actually hold up the ball. So that, that leaves Pepe on Saka's run onto it. He doesn't do that. He takes off Pepe, who scores a brilliant goal. Oh, yes, come on. You can come off, mate. Yeah, why not? Uh, you know, like, seriously, it's just... It's just it's just, it's just an actual joke. Um, but, yeah, that's the only thing I could criticise him. And they obviously go to 2-1 to up, like I said. And then after that, I just don't... I, I, just, I just got crazy. I mean, like, Bernd Leno. What are you doing? What are you actually doing, Bernd Leno? He gets a ball... And he just decides to just come out of your box and not a Superman. What are you doing? Guess what? He's, he's missing three games. Man City, Aston Villa, Leeds. Guess who, guess who we've got in goal? Yes, that you guessed it. But us in goal because Matt Ryan somehow got an injury. It, it always happens. As soon as we sign a player, they get injured. Oh, look. Matt Ryan's not even playing a game of football. He gets injured in training. Oh, that's surprising. Now we've got Butterson. Uh, yeah, in goal, like, seriously, like, come on, for three games, Man City, Pep's going to be looking at the like, oh, going, oh, yes, oh, yes, Renison's in goal, yeah, what happened last time, yeah, remember that, that free kick that they scored, they beat us 4-1, we are actually screwed, we're screwed, Villa, we're going to get smashed, Leeds, we're going to get smashed, Man City, we're going to get smashed, we're going to be 15th again, and yeah, back to square one. And this is why people have to realise, yeah, why why are we all handing out nine and ten for the chancellor window? Because we got we we got rid of the dead wood. Yeah, that's the that's what that's what and yeah, we did. We get we got rid of three dead wood players, the rest went on out on loan. Zero point whatsoever. Yeah, because they're all gonna come back. You know, and it's just like a joke. Like seriously, player ratings is gonna be down because like 
it was so frustrating, like how we've lost that. And like I said, I'm not even blaming Mikan Teta because I thought the lineup was good. He brought, brought back in Saka, who was absolutely class. But like, it's just like, what are we doing? Burn them I, I can't believe it. And they've got runners in goal. Let's get around to my player ratings. Like, seriously, it was a joke. So let's get around to my player ratings then. Leno. Two. Two. I mean, apart from, yeah, you can see the two goals or whatever, but he's got a red card. You honestly can't give him more than a two. When you get a red card, you can't. And it, and it, come on, it was intentional. Come on. Like, the David Louise one, all right, not a red card. But Leno, he's just done it on purpose. Like, well, not obviously not in purpose. No, I'm not saying he's done it on purpose. I'm saying he's, he's, it was always a mistake, obviously. But, like, he's, he's come out, you know, and that was definitely a red card because he's come out of his box anyway. So, um, obviously, it wasn't on purpose, guys. But, you know, what I'm saying is, it's like, like, what are you doing, Leno? Come on. Um, but, yeah, two out of ten. I'm sorry, he's, you, when, any, when anyone gets a red card, it can't be more than it. Like, uh, he's like, he does, you know, I'm being generous to give him a two, you know, he should really get a zero. But anyway, um, back four, Cedric, five out of ten, average, ban average. Yeah, it'll be a four because yeah, the amount of times I've done my Triore, yeah, got the ball, just skipped past him. He's like, oh, yeah. Seriously, like, our full backs are getting roasted. Neto on the other side against Hector Bellerin, roasted, yeah. Triori, all right. I, I I understand if you know against Kieran Tierney, you know back on uh, last season he was getting roasted. That's why the guys going to make make the nos. But what I'm saying is Tedric, average, you know, ban average. I mean, surprisingly he did he did actually perform better than he did in, in my, my, against Man United in my opinion. You know, I give him like what I I, give, I think I give him a three against Man United. He's he's getting a five ban average. Centre back David Luiz, two out of ten got sent off. Yeah, it may not be a red card. It was still a penalty, in my opinion. But definitely not a red card. I mean, I have to go and obviously look it back, uh, check it back. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I I think I think it was definitely a penalty because he just clipped him. But a red card, he's getting a 2 out of 10. Uh, Rob Holden, I'm going to give him an average 6. I'll give him a 6 because I thought he's definitely our best defender. In my opinion, I thought he was our best defender. There's a time where, 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 where one time where he got sat on his ass, I was like, "What are you doing?" Um, but apart from that, I thought he done. He was just six out of ten. I thought he's definitely our best defender. Um, moving on, then left back. Uh, no, sorry, we've done left back. Uh, right back, Heggy B. He's gonna get a four. Four out of ten. Not good enough. The amount of times Neto got the ball, ran past him. It's just like, come on. What? Did, and to be fair, he did actually try and get forward though. So, but like, I'm still giving him a four out of ten, maybe a f average five. Same as Cedric, because like I've seen him a few times. He did actually try and get forward. So yeah, I'm giving them both average fives. Uh, midfield, Thomas Party's gonna get a six out of ten. I thought in the first half he was like, he, he was absolutely superb. Second half he had to be sacrificed um, from that red card, obviously. Um, but yeah, obviously, I thought Party was really good in that first half. Six out of ten for him. Granite Xhaka. Six, six as well. Um, I don't, I don't think he did did, did anything wrong. If I'm being honest, I thought he was, you know, all right. Obviously, he didn't do much when when we, when we went down to nine men because you could, really couldn't. He's he's more playing as like a striker, wasn't he? Like there's a few times where he, he tried to press, but yeah, it's just a six. Him and Party, I thought, I thought the midfield done well. Um, Smith Rowe, I'm giving Smith Rowe a five, a five out of ten. Um, I don't think he was the worst player on the pitch, but what I will say is he um he wasn't the best and uh he was actually far from what he's been performing recently. You know, he didn't really get the ball that often. Uh there's a few times he got the ball and gave it away, but I'm gonna give it an average five. Um Saka, seven out of ten, don't even care. Yeah. He should have done a hat trick in, in, in you know in, in, in that first half. You know, he hit hit the post. You know, he had two other chances and obviously he got his goal did for loud. He gets seven out of ten. I thought he was classed and you know, at the end he got really tired at the end. But um yeah, what can I say? Uh Nicola Pepe, uh seven out of ten as well, maybe seven point five because he did get the goal. I thought him and Sack were definitely our best players in my opinion. Uh obviously Pepe getting the goal is a class goal and he and he's looking sick now. You know, he gets taken off. That's his uh, reward. Uh, anyway, um, up front is made like a Lacazette. I'm going to give Lacazette a standard five. Um, yeah, he got sacrificed at half time. But apart from that, I mean, what did he actually do? 
I'm going to give it a stand of five. Subs, Gabriel, four. C came on, and he just got the ball, and he was looking at Masafi. I'm, I'm going to be honest, like, oh, my God. He Listen, he got the ball, and then there's a time where he just played it straight out of play. I, I, listen, I understand he, has, he, he hasn't been playing any minutes, but um, his defending was shocking. I'm not going to lie, but he did make some good challenges. I'm going to give him a four out of ten. Uh, Butterfingers, Ren, Ren Harson. I'm going to give him a 3 out of 10. Come on, I guess, kept the score down and made a few good saves. So, yeah, for 3 out of 10 for Ren, Ren Harson. Was that all the subs we made? I can't even remember now. Abamian, 2. What, what, he come on and did nothing. I'm being honest. He, he had that one shot that was blocked. Um, so, yeah, 2 out of 10. Mikael on set. I'm going to give Mikael on set a 5 out of 10. The lineup was good. I was happy with it. I'm not even blaming Mikael on set. I'm still the type of fearless out of his depth. Get him out right now. But I, I ain't blaming him for this performance. I'm just so I'm so disappointed with uh, I'm just so disappointed because we done so well in that first half. And like say if we did if we never got the red card, we I'm I guarantee we we would have won that game. So yeah, I'm I'm so annoyed guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys um well, what even is next? Probably we don't play till I think Saturday now. Aston Villa away. I'm 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 dreading that. Oh, I'm dreading that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.